This season, Flamengo, under the guidance of former assistant manager turned head coach Maurizio Babieri, are playing an attractive style of football, central to which is young prospect Lucas Paqueta. Despite only making his debut in March 2016, Paqueta has become central to Flamengo this season and, at 20 years old, looks set for a bright future. He was named as one of 12 backups by Chichi for the World Cup in Russia and has received full call-ups for friendlies against the USA and El Salvador in September 2018. Flamengo have tended to play a 4-1-4-1, with Paqueta lining up on the right-hand side of central midfield. The midfield is anchored by Gustavo Cuellar as the screening player, but Paqueta is generally the less attacking of the two central players who play ahead of him. The back four look to Cuellar to play short as Flamengo build up from the back, especially at home. The right back, Rodinet, gets forwards a lot, while the left back, Rene, also pushes up, but less so. Both fullbacks also invert to create a series of passing options for Cuellar. Paqueta will drop back and outside of Rodinet at times, as the fullback runs forwards within the half space. He also works well with the right hand midfielder, Everton Ribeiro, and the two players will swap sometimes, with Paqueta pushing wider and Everton dropping in. This means that Flamengo's right hand side can create plenty of movement between the lines, underlaps and overlaps that make their attacks hard to defend against. To Paqueta's left, Diego, who played in Europe with Wolfsburg and Juventus, is the primary dictator of play. He drops in as the left winger, usually Vitinho now that Vinicius Jr. has departed for Real Madrid, pushes higher and acts as a standard winger more than Everton Ribeiro does on the right. Diego's movement often allows space for Paqueta to push forwards into, which is covered by Rodney inverting, or Everton Ribeiro taking up a more central station. Paqueta's positional awareness is excellent, which is what makes him such a key transitional player from Flamengo as they shift the ball forwards or from one flank to another. He is seemingly always aware of the opposition's position, so that he checks his runs or surges forwards to ensure that the Flamengo player in possession has a clear passing lane to him. He is also adept at ensuring that his position upon receiving the ball also allows him to move it on quickly to someone else. Being left-footed but playing on the right-hand side allows him to shift possession to the left easily or find an angled ball forwards to runs that overlap him. Flamengo generally move well horizontally, and Paqueta, Diego and Everton Ribeiro especially constantly shift their positions to ensure that there are players between the opposition defensive lines to show for passes. Cuella, and to a lesser extent Paqueta, provide the safer option, but part of Paqueta's ability is that he does both. He shows as the option for the back line if Cuella is out of possession or marked, but also surges forwards to create options further up the field. This positioning is why Paqueta is so key to Flamengo, and why he's been one of the league's outstanding performers this season. His constant movement means that he is often available as a passing option, and his quick thinking and eye for the next pass, before moving again, means that he often glues Flamengo's moves together, popping up several times within one passage of play. He can also carry the ball, and he has so far completed 41 successful dribbles in the league with 18 appearances. Flamengo have played only 20 games. But Paqueta is the complete midfielder, and he is, for example, the only player in Brazil's top flight to have completed more than 40 dribbles and won 50 or more aerial duels. Paqueta has also scored five goals, including a sublime chip from a given go, and registered one assist this season. His all-round contribution to Flamengo's season is quite startling. Defensively, he contributes too, though he gives away a few too many fouls. His aerial ability is excellent, but he also weighs in with interceptions. His reading of the game extends to defensive covering as well as pass and move attacking. The fact that Paqueta is only 20 years old just makes this all the more impressive. A first cap for Brazil should arrive in September, and it's surely only a matter of time before he turns out for a top European side. Mm-hmm.